hi everyone welcome back and today's topic is we are going to learn how to write data onto a text file okay so we'll, we will be writing data into a text file in my previous tutorial we have learned how to read data from a file so we have learned the learn uh, three important methods that is the read read line and read lines right so we successfully read the data from that particular file and we displayed the output and uh, so today we are going to learn how to write data into a text file okay so without wasting time we will start and uh, the two important methods that we are going to learn is the write method and the write line methods okay so these are the two methods by which we can write data into a text file so we will start so we will have a file handle and then the open function and i say something like uh, uh, test.txt which is a text file and i open this file now into the w mode now w indicates that this we are opening this file in the write mode so this w indicates that this file has been opened into the write mode and then what we are going to do is we are going to use the file handle dot write simply we will say this and suppose if i give some text like uh, maybe python is an you know amazing okay amazing language okay and i just close this and then i'll just close the file okay so using this close method we can close this file okay so what is what is going to happen is over here is uh, python is will try to open this file text.txt in write mode now the question is if this file does not exist okay what if this file does not exist in that case python is going to create a file with the name test okay that will be a text file so it will create the file test in the current directory that we are working in okay and then it will open that file into the write mode and then with this method uh, this particular string will be will be uh, will get written into the file and then we are going to close this file and then it will close the file okay so all we have to do is just run this program and uh, at this point we will not see any output because we are simply writing the data onto a file now how to check whether we have uh, run the program successfully or not whether we, it has actually written this data into the file or not for that just open the current folder okay you can do it from here also just open control plus o and from here this is python files so we can see all the python files over here just click over here and select the text file and now you can see the file that is test over here okay so just click open it and you can see that we have written the data that particular string into the file successfully so uh, this program was a success basically okay so uh, i'll just close this now and i will run this program one more time okay so if i run this program one more time in that case this particular uh, string should get written onto the file again so we should have two strings that is python is an amazing language okay so we will just see the output and uh, select the text file and over here here it is so we didn't have any extra line we had the same line at the same position okay now this is because we are opening this file in write mode so understand that this mode okay this mode or this w mode will basically um, or opens the file open the file in the right mode okay in the right mode but the previous data but the previous data will get deleted okay but the if you have any data so that will get deleted data gets deleted okay so remember this okay so what if we want that you know that python should retain the previous data so in that case what you're going to do is you're going to use a now a basically will return the previous data a indicates that is an append mode okay that is an append mode so basically the previous data if there is any data 
okay any previous data into the file so it will maintain that file and whatever you do the writing right now uh, through this program that will be written at the end of the file okay so let us run this program now one more time and see the output okay so i've done it now let us open this file select the text the text file and the text okay now you can see that again we have the same file right uh, that is a test.txt okay let me just run this again one more time and now we will see the output okay so let us open this file in and uh, okay here it is so actually basically it had written the previous data also but maybe something went wrong you can see this is the first string that we had written and this is the second string and now we ran the program for the third time and this is the third string so you can see we have successfully written it we have written the data onto the file isn't it this was the first time that we run the program then this append mode that the second time that we did and then the third time that we, we have run the program so you can see it has successfully written the uh, data and it also maintained the previous data okay so if I make this again, if I make this as W, which is a write mode, so the previous data will get deleted. And if you see the file, again, the previous data gets deleted and the new string will be written onto the file. Here it is. Okay. So if you want to maintain the previous data, just make this as A. And even if you maintain this, uh, make this as A and this uh, particular file does not exist, it will create it. Okay. So do not worry about that. So this is how we have done now the problem is like if you see the file now if i use this app in mode run this program and uh, uh, you know if you see the program we have the data where things cannot be uh, read properly right so this is particularly joined so what happens is there is a file handle that writes the string and now the file handle will is, is at the end of that file so whenever we open any file into the append mode so the file handle goes to the end of file and from the end of file it starts writing the next data but what if if i want this string to the next line okay i want this to the next line so in that case so simple you can just make this add a slash and slash and which is an escape character so this will basically write the data and then the file handler will come to the next line okay so at this point i'll make this as w so just to just to clear the previous data and then we'll make it as an append mode okay and again now i make this as an append mode so i will write the same text again okay and now i will open the file and you can see the difference out here so here is a difference so it, it uh, this is the previous string that we have written into the file and there was a slash and so we came to the next line and then this is the next string so this is how you can come to the next line and so now we can read this data is it this is the first line this is the second line okay so this is how you can do it and now uh, what if if i have to accept data like a record from the user record like you know a student record so a student record will have roll number name class section and so on so what we're going to do is we're going to accept a record and we're going to write that onto the uh, file so when we say we write this data onto the file we are permanently storing this data so with the file handling you can actually develop a project where you can store uh, records and uh, you can do uh, reading of the records deleting records we can perform all the operations using this file handling okay so let us do it that is first is maybe student roll number so i will use a simple variable roll number and i will say int okay and uh, okay oh, since we are going to write this file everything into a text mode so every data needs to be into a string format so i will simply accept it as a string and I will say enter a uh, roll number something of this sort okay and I'll just copy this and uh, then I'll make this as the student name and this as maybe class okay class is a keyword so let's just have a capital C okay and then I'll make this as a section and just change this uh, 
messages that is enter the name and the the class and the section okay so i have accepted and i have stored this all the values in these variables now simply what i have to do is i have to write name that is the name of the variable and then i will add a string that is a comma now comma will act as an separator between name and the roll number so this name plus comma and then we will have uh, that is okay first was the roll number so i will just take roll number okay and since i have accepted that as a string so we don't need to convert this into string so plus then i will say comma the name and then i will say class then plus and simply specify section and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to end that with a slash n okay i can do it or i can do it uh, okay uh, over here also this will also it will make no difference but that's okay and i'll just close this okay so we have uh, we are going to write the roll number then we're going to have a comma and then the name so every unit or the fields of that particular record are separated by this comma so comma is acts as a delimiter a delimiter is basically which separates the unit from that records or the fields from that record okay so it's not like we can have comma we can have some other character like hash so it's separated by hash but I'm, at this point i'm just keeping it as a comma okay and then we are closing the file so let us see we will run this program and uh, at the first instance okay i'll just make a new file that is uh, maybe student there was a file called a student so i'll make this as student record dot txt or student r dot txt okay now let us run this program and uh, it will ask me certain data okay there is some very uh, some kind of error so this i need to add a plus sign over here and okay everything looks fine so let us run this now enter a roll number 12 name of the student is a j class is uh, maybe eight section is a okay and that's it we are not going to see any output out here uh, but we will see the output whether that data is actually written onto the file or not so let us just select the text file and here it is student r isn't it now open this and you can see so this is the first record of the student okay so 12 a j class and section so roll number this is the name this is the class and this is the section and we had a comma over here it was not required actually but anyway so now i will just run this program one more time and let us see what happens so i'll see it's 34 something is the j class is maybe this time six and the section is b okay and now i will see the file let us open the file and this is here it is so you can see we have successfully written the second record also so record by record you can store onto the file since this is a file we are going to we are actually storing the data permanently so next time anytime you can open this file you can retrieve this data by using the functions that is read and read line or read lines right so this is how you can perform the operations so we have successfully written the uh, written the records onto the file so no matter how many times you you run this program so every time you accept a record it will be written onto this file okay so this is how you can do and now there's one more function that is called as read lines so read lines basically takes a list a sequence and over here i've used a list like and the list actually takes uh, the number of lines so you can write multiple lines onto the file okay at one time only so you don't require this over here and what i'm going to do over here is this will be my first that is the name then plus uh, the same thing i can give it i'll just copy paste that same thing um, over here okay, i'll just copy this okay so this becomes my first item of the list okay and then this is a comma now i have to give my second item so i'll give this one okay and then plus okay just a minute this i don't require over here that is the name 
so this is a variable and then plus okay now it's fine and then what I'm going to do is have a class okay class and then again I will add append that with a comma and then uh, again the the fourth item that is a section okay I will append that also with a comma and uh, then at the end what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a slash so this becomes or I can just have, I don't require a comma basically at the end I'll just give slash and over here so even this will work okay so you can see now this becomes a list and there are uh, four items so this is the first item okay this is the first item I'm just saying roll number and I'm uh, joining a comma to it okay so understand this and then this is the second item and this is the third and then there is a comma over here you can see this is a separator of the list by which we are separating the items and then this is the fourth uh, item into the list okay and then what I can do, do is what I can do is simply uh, pass the list to this uh, to this function so basically this takes a sequence the read lines so if you run this program and you will see the output roll number I can give something like 56 uh, something like Nitin okay class 6 section and a okay and now we will open the file and see the output and you can see okay I just opened the wrong file that is student dot R okay you can see we have successfully written the third record also and just since I did not give uh, you know I did not give a comma at the end so we don't have a comma over here so this is how you can use the read lines we can store the the all the strings into a list and then pass that list to this function okay so this function basically this method basically takes a sequence a list okay so and then a read that is a, sorry the write function basically only takes a string okay so this is the difference between write uh, and write line so the write function I mean to say the write method takes only a string okay and write lines basically accepts a sequence as an argument okay and this function does not return anything understand the right function or the right line function basically only kind of dumps the data into the file okay so it is not going to return anything to us okay and then this is a closing of the file so this is a basic very basic uh, tutorial about how to write a text data onto the file I hope you have understood let us see the next video we will have some programs regarding this okay bye for now